happy September. Thank you guys so much for your feedback on last month's video. It's been a quiet start to the month uh, this September. The last few days I've been on my own. I'm going to be on my own for the next couple of weeks uh, while my mum is in India. Um, so I've been trying to spend the time focusing on doing my work and just getting as much done as possible. Um, and I've wanted to kind of really take the time to isolate myself and do as much as possible. Um, so, <laughs> as you may be able to tell, I'm not on my own anymore. Uh, my sister's been dog sitting this dog called Crombie and she had to work today, so I am looking after him. He's six, he's a Vimarana or Vimarana. And I mean, I don't know much about dogs, but he's cute and he's big and he's very well behaved. So I was planning on filming today, but I don't think I will. I don't like the thought of having him all cooped up in here all day. Uh, he hasn't been out for a walk already this morning, but I'm thinking that I'm going to... Um, well, since I've been like focusing on my ideas, I revisited the pig idea that I spoke about in the last video, and I have been trying to develop it more as an idea and making more of a story out of it and it's got more and more exciting the more I think about it and I've come up with pretty much a full project for it, um, a series of paintings that I'm hoping to have as like a collection of prints. Um, I also want to make a zine out of it and some stickers so I want to at least sit down today and plan out that whole series of paintings and then probably just have some lunch and go out for another walk. So. So if you're wondering why I am surrounded by cardboard boxes, I um, ordered some stuff from Amazon recently, got a huge delivery yesterday. I get an Amazon delivery pretty much every day, but I um, wanted to get some just a few final bits of storage for my new uh, workspace area that I'm going to shoot a video for later on, probably tomorrow to have up later on at the end of this week. Um, but I've kept these cardboard boxes because just to add to the final bit of storage I want to make like slim magazine folders to hold my polythene postage bags, obviously. <laughs> My sister's picked up Crombie now and it's really quiet here without him. He's such a big clumsy dog, like not hearing him bounding up and down the stairs has left me feeling very alone again. Um, so I'm just going to carry on getting on with things. I'm going to now make those folders that I talked about so you'll see a better idea of what I meant. So this is the postage area under my desk. Um, I have these A4 uh, do not bend envelopes and A5 ones down there and then next to each of them I have these plastic bags these are the ones that I was talking about and I I don't mind having them just slotted in there but they're kind of hard to yank out um, so I just want to make a little slim folder for both of these sections um, so I can slip these bags in and out quite easily Is this the neatest thing I've ever made? No. Do the polythene bags even fit in it? Not really. Uh, yeah, I think I was better off just leaving them as they were on the shelf. Um, that's what happens when I have too much time on my hands, I guess. I think it might be time for me to just start drawing some pigs. I'm exhausted. I have drawn quite a few pigs different like poses for them and I've planned out um, which flowers I'm going to use. So I'm going to do 10 different pigs, that's 10 different poses, 10 different flowers and I have decided on the flowers. I've got maybe like three poses loosely mapped out and one in more detail. I'm super tired now, it's about 5 o'clock in the evening and I've been up since half six this morning. But I really want to take this burst of creativity while I have it, so I'm thinking I might start doing some 
colour studies tonight, possibly. I want to actually be able to start making paintings for the series tomorrow and I could film the first one maybe. So yeah, I think I might do a couple of test runs tonight. So I think I'm going to need some strong coffee. Instagram because I think they just did like a influencer trip so uh, I'm interested in that as well uh, but back to the last product from Ula Hendrickson the wonderful double I'm just answering some of your comments at the moment. I try to, every once in a while, go through and get back to you on questions and stuff. It's hard, um, just the volume of them at the moment, especially if I get backed up with like several videos worth of comments. But yeah, I'm, it's really nice to just have a sit down and scroll through them and get a dialogue going with you guys. Um, so at the moment, yeah, I'm just answering some, some of the comments on last month's vlog. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it and I'm enjoying making this one. I feel like vlogging makes me do more just because I need to have things to film. So it's been a really good like motivation to be getting on with things. So I tried to paint the first painting in the pig series um, the day after you saw me mapping it all out. Um, I tried to I tried to film it and make a video of it, but it just didn't go to plan necessarily. It went all right, but because it's something that I'm quite excited to get on with and make something out of, I think it just wasn't to the standard that I wanted it to be. Like it could have passed maybe as a standalone piece, but because it's gonna be part of a series, I want it to be able to hold its own and also be as good as the rest of them. So um, I scrapped that as a practice, I guess. Um, I think what needs to happen now is I kind of jumped right into that one because I'm so excited about the idea. I had such a strong image in my mind of how I wanted it to look. I think um, I just needed to take a step back, take a break and um, spend a bit more time figuring it out. Um, so I'm going to do a few more studies of pigs, I think. Um, although I do have quite a good idea of what I want the pig in this one to look like. I need to do definitely need to do some studies of the flowers. Um, for this first one I wanted to do um, pomegranate flowers, for, uh, like the flowers of the pomegranate plant. I didn't know that the flowers were that beautiful and so I started researching plants beginning with P and pomegranate came up and the flowers are gorgeous, lovely, lovely colours. I started that painting not having had any practice painting them so obviously that didn't turn out great. I do have a habit of like jumping straight into things. Sometimes it works. I like that spontaneity of it sometimes but for this particular painting it didn't. I also need to look at the colours that I'm going to use because I I used my iPad to get a rough idea of some colours, try a, different, a few different things, a few different combinations. I use Procreate and the Apple Pencil. I don't know anything about digital art, this is a very new thing for me but you know, it's easy enough to use the pen to make some rough sketches of colours of things rather than using my paints. Um, so I had an idea of the colours I wanted to use but I hadn't actually tried it out on paper with paints and that is another issue that I ran into when I got around to actually doing the painting. So I'm gonna experiment a bit more with uh, some colour combinations on paper with that initial colour plan from my iPad um, as a sort of rough reference, see what works digitally and what works traditionally. Uh, so I'm hoping to do that today. Colour studies and pomegranate flower studies. 
but I'm not on my own anymore. I've finally been joined by some company that isn't a dog. Um, Ozzy's staying over for a few days. Um, but I'm still trying to like focus and keep doing stuff. I really want to get some work done. And so yesterday uh, we popped out together for a little walk. Um, I went to the post office. I had a few orders to send off. Uh, popped into M&S next door to pick up some food for dinner. And then when we got back, we had a little um, photo shoot. Uh, since I revamped my website and stuff, I wanted to also update my profile pictures and things like that. Have some pictures for my about me on my website and like my um, YouTube icon and like my icons everywhere. Like the ones I have now were only really meant to be temporary, but I have never got around to taking new pictures. So we took a ton of pictures yesterday. I must be the most annoying model ever because um, I'm really picky but we had we had a lot of fun doing that he took some good ones hopefully by the time you're watching this I'll, I'll have them in use so you'll be able to see but um, I'm just quite an awkward model but he definitely made me feel a bit more comfortable in front of the camera um, now he is not here at the moment he's gone to work so I'm hoping to get as much done as possible now uh, after I've done this I'll do I'll do a few more comments I think and then I have to do some boring like banking stuff it's all been a bit all over the place I um, I've been trying to sort out my tax returns for last year and it's been such a nightmare just having like records all over the place so yeah I want to get it all done you know get that hard stuff out of the way sort it out make sure everything is more organized for next time get all my banking in order get all my taxes sorted out so I'm probably gonna do that now have some lunch i've got quite a bit of like tidying and washing to do i want to do a load of washing and tidy my room oh yeah i've angled i've angled the camera very cleverly because uh it looks like you know a vision of neatness and peace over here but the background is just chaos at the moment lots of dirty clothes and like more cardboard boxes lying around so i've got quite a bit to be getting on with before i start drawing but i definitely do want to get some drawing done uh, before the end of today. <laughs> just remembered as well I have a video to edit so I'm gonna stop talking and just crack on. So I've just got done recording my voiceover. I've decided I'm gonna wait till at least later on in the evening to actually edit the video together, just because it's already coming up to about five o'clock in the evening and I haven't done any drawing yet today. So I'm hoping to sit down now and do as much drawing as possible before the sun goes away. And then I guess in the evening, once Ozzy's back from work, I will, um, do as much as I can sort of in the background as we chill out throughout the evening. So maybe editing that video, maybe a few other things, but right now the priority is to get at least some drawing done for the rest of the day.
What I like about this dye is that even when it fades out, it's still quite a nice colour that it fades out to, so I can leave it for quite a while before I top it up. Um, it's been maybe like two months since I last dyed it. I wash my hair quite regularly as well, so it does fade, I mean, not too quickly. Um, considering how much I do wash my hair, I think it's lasted really well for two months. But then it's only when I re-dye it that I remember just how dark and purple it is kind of supposed to be. I'm using Arctic Fox in Purple Rain. Um, it's a semi-permanent dye. It's cruelty-free, no animal testing. I think it's all vegan um, ingredients. And this one bottle has lasted me really well. Um, I've used it, this is the third time using this one bottle. It's definitely worth it, I'd say. And also the um, person that made it is a YouTuber. Um, her and her husband have a channel. I'll have information on it all below. I've, I found this brand through YouTube, just watch it, watching different YouTube videos. And so far, it's just been, it's been the best uh, semi-permanent color I've ever used on my hair. Really love the vibrancy of this color. And also the smell of it, it smells like grape soda. I don't think my hair needed redoing, but just at that kind of stage where things in life are feeling a bit tired, a bit stale, need to shake things up one way or another, and all, obviously the best way to do that always is to do something to your hair. Um, I really actually want to cut it, but I cut it quite recently, so it's quite short still. I've always wanted like a long bob but the problem with that is that I wear my hair straight like not even once a year and the last time I straightened my hair was back in April of 2016 so I feel like if I cut my hair into a long bob it would be great for a week while I have it straight and then after that I would just look like the teacher in recess whatever her name was so things in life are kind of back to normal at the moment. Mum got back yesterday and Ozzy also left yesterday. So kind of settling back into the usual routine. I was also hoping to start a new um, video series this week. A sort of uh, like easy to follow, quite quick, basic fundamental tips kind of video. The kind of thing that you could refer to if either you're a beginner or you're just sort of looking to either refresh refresh what you know or just update what you think you know, um, really solidify your understanding of the basics to be able to move forward and improve your art and just sort of open up new avenues of creativity, uh, new options for yourself. Like for me, I know that I need to learn a lot of things just to be able to draw the things I want to draw. Um, obviously it's quite an important thing in terms of stylizing your work, um, being able to understand the fundamentals. So it's something, it's like a personal project for me to be able to get better, uh, but also something where I can condense it down into a really easy to digest almost guide for anyone else that wants to just have a really easily laid out lesson plan kind of thing. I don't know if I will be able to start that this week just because I think I was being kind of ambitious to think that I could get it ready like I'm literally planning a whole new video series so I have come up with an intro for it that I quite like and then I need to I've kind of got a plan of the first few episodes but I need to obviously do some research and um, write it all out and then obviously get filming with it. I'm kind of running out of dye now, but I'm going to just use the rest of that bottle to really saturate my hair. It's lasted well. I mean, obviously I only am doing the front portion of my hair. I also have very, very thin hair, so I don't need that much um, for coverage. I'm kind of desperate to get this done because at the moment my hair has only been shampooed. And when my hair is just shampooed and not conditioned, it just feels so horrible and dry and frizzy. It almost makes me itch, like it gives me goosebumps to touch my hair when it's just completely stripped of any moisture. It's like wet Barbie hair, so yeah, I'm trying to like rush through this, um, let this sit on my hair for a bit, rinse it out, and then I can condition it because it's really, really dry and frizzy. I'll show you guys how it looks right at the end once it's clean and dry. Um, I'll probably just let this sit 
I'll probably let it sit for a while, I don't see why not. Um, get on with a few other things today and then I will show you the finished result. But yeah, Arctic Fox, I would recommend. And that's the purpose of this I don't think you can see my finished hair in this light. It's quite dark when it's dry, but I'm really happy with the results. Um, I know it looks like I never go out, but I actually do. I'm just really bad at filming once I'm out the house. So this weekend I actually went, um, it was my friend's birthday and we went out for a meal. We had Chinese and then a few drinks as well. And that was great. And then on Saturday went to a night called Steez, which I have mentioned on this channel before. Um, it's just like, live music and poetry and vibes. Um, it's a really good time. I got a little bit of footage of that. Considering I was there till four in the morning, definitely could have captured a bit more. Since then, I've been trying to get on with getting started with um, my pig paintings. I finally yesterday got round to doing the first painting in that series. I'm so happy with it. I'm really glad that I did put in that extra time to plan it um, after the first attempt didn't go that well. I filmed the process of the painting, so you can check that out on my channel now. Um, I put that up today and um, I didn't manage to film me filming um, just because it was quite a stressful one. I think because I wanted it to be perfect, I really was in a zone while I was doing that one. I didn't even have music on. I just kind of sat there for hours and hours just painting, trying to get it right. And it took a while, um, you know, throughout the process for me to get to a point where I was quite happy with it, but it got there in the end and I couldn't be happier. I really, really like this one. It almost to me looks like something that I didn't do. Like it's the kind of thing that I would look at and think, oh, that looks nice. And I very rarely have that about my own work. So today I have been um, a bit frantic, you might be able to tell. I had to edit the video and get that up today and also create prints for the painting, which took a while. There's a lot of trial and error with that. And then um, create listings for the prints and the original painting in my shop. So that all took quite a bit of time. I usually will spend a whole day doing that kind of thing, just so that I can give it proper time, um, edit the photos and edit the video up really nicely. But I made the mistake today. Um, a few days ago, Ozzy asked me if I wanted to go to New Year's dinner with him, and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, not realizing that he meant Jewish New Year's, which is today. So I realized that yesterday and had to cram in all my plans for today, move things up a bit so that I, I would have time to join him and his family this evening. So I'm a bit all over the place. I haven't eaten yet today and it is 20 past four. Um, I've just been like fully in a zone of trying to get some work done. I will show you painting um, that I did yesterday. I really, really like it. I love the colors. Um, just love how that turned out. And then I made up prints in three different sizes. So that's the little one. There's like a medium size. And then my favorite is this lovely big one. So those are all in my shop now as well. I really want to maybe find somewhere for this big one. I think it's really pretty. I love the colors. Just kind of want to have it up on display somewhere. But yeah, that is what I've been up to. Um, and that's what I'm getting up to. I need to get my bag together and get ready to go out. Okay, so I just received a package this morning from my P.O. box and I was opening it in bed uh, over breakfast and it was so beautifully wrapped that I thought I would have to share it with you guys just so you could see how gorgeous this is. I received this from Autumn Chu, who um, is an artist. Uh, she has um, Instagram and, and a lot of other social media. I will leave her info below. Um, this is her card that I got with the um, 
package today. She emailed me and said that she makes, as well as being an artist, she makes sketchbooks um, with vintage covers and she asked if I'd like one and I saw them and they looked gorgeous. So very happy to have received one today. And it's come really beautifully wrapped. This color is one of my favorite colors as well. So really looking forward to seeing what we've got in here. I mean, look at that, isn't that just stunning? I don't want to ruin it. Oh, I haven't even seen that yet. Oh, look at that, lovely letter there. I'll read that privately. And all of these sketchbooks she makes by hand. Um, she gets the covers from like antique stores in the States, she said. Oh wow, how cool is that? So there are two here. Those are awesome. This is absolutely gorgeous. It has pockets in the front, a little envelope here for things. I love having a little pocket for things to keep in the sketchbook. Oh, and here is her Etsy information. <laughs> But again, I'll have it all linked below. Thank you so much, Autumn, if you're watching this. It's just incredible. It smells great as well. If you like the smell of old books, oh my God, it's just perfect. So this one is all watercolor paper, she said. So I'm looking forward to using that. I can feel that it does feel like very, very good quality. Nice and thick, good amount of pages as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using this. I really like the size of it as well. That could be like a nice little pocket sketchbook. But yeah, that is gorgeous. And I love this little tie to keep it all together. And then this one, that looks great. Oh wow, that's so cool. This one is craft and watercolor paper, which is something I've always wanted in a sketchbook. Um, I'd love to have a mix of toned paper and white paper to be able to experiment with different shading techniques and stuff like that. So it's really just the perfect little sketchbook. It's so special and really nicely made. It's got such a beautiful handmade feel to it and it you can tell that it's been made by an artist. And I mean, that's the kind of thing that you'll just treasure forever. So again, I will leave Autumn's info below. I'm so, so grateful for these. Thank you so much. They're gorgeous. And I hope you do check her out because clearly she puts a lot of hard work into what she does and the stuff she makes is just absolutely amazing. Can't wait to get started using these. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? So I just got done setting up to film this month's episode of The Underpainting. I'm going to do a drawing of my old house, the house that I grew up in, and also possibly if I have time I'm going to do a drawing of just a house that I found on Google Maps. So the topic of today's video is going to be how I got to become a full-time artist. It's quite a personal one, it's going to be quite a casual and chatty one, and it'll be up by the time you're watching this, so if you haven't seen it I will have a card for it up there. I thought I would just come on quickly while I'm all set up to film and catch you up on things. So New Year was amazing, it was such a brilliant dinner, oh my god. The food was incredible, everyone was really lovely and welcoming and kind and I just had the most amazing time, definitely up for it next year. I got up the video of my pig painting. A lot of the response has been positive but surprisingly there's been a lot more, um, not so much negative but not as positive feedback on this one, which is a shame because obviously you've seen um, like the whole 
lead up that I did to get to that point and like the work that I put in and how excited I was for it. But what I will say is that there is a difference between like a critique and someone saying, you know, I would prefer it without the pig. Um, with stuff like that, I guess, obviously it is a series of pig paintings and I'm not gonna do the next one without the pig. Um, I guess it's all just people's personal preference. Also had like a few comments about the line work. Um, but what's nice is that I feel like the people that have been on my channel for a long time, the people that have been following my art for a long time, they've left some really and encouraging comments just saying like how they've seen my style develop. And in terms of comments about the line work, I feel like as much as my style has changed over time, line work and like kind of scruffy line work has always been a very consistent thing within my art. So that's not something that I'm going to change. Um, there have been also some more constructive criticisms. I think someone said something about how the pig was more three-dimensional before I added the line work. Um, the thing with that is that's almost part of the reason that I add the line work. I do prefer more of that two-dimensional flat look once I've added lines and stuff. So a mixed, mixed bag of reviews there, but overall I'm still really happy with it. I ended up actually deleting the YouTube app off my phone. I've literally had like five comments that weren't keen. It's not like it was like a flood of negativity or anything like that. Like everyone has been really nice. I think when you have put in a lot of work into something and you put it out there, people's response to it can be very influential and it can really affect me. I don't know about anyone else, but it can definitely affect me. So I deleted the YouTube app for a while just because I was constantly checking and Almost every time I checked, there'd be another one that was sort of unsure of things or just they, they didn't quite like it or I didn't click with them. So rather than let that bog me down, I just stopped looking at that and I actually looked back at the piece just to kind of remind myself how excited I had been when I first finished it. And it did sort of click again where I was like, no, you know what, I actually still really do like this. I'm happy with every decision I made. And I think that's the good thing about putting that much work into it and planning it. Every mark you make is intentional and every decision you make, whether it's the colours or the composition or anything like that, regardless of whether other people like it, if you've planned it to be like that, it's not a flaw, it's not a mistake, it's just something that other people might not like. So yeah, overall I'm still very happy, I can't wait to carry on with, it's also just a good bit of character building, especially as an artist, to be able to take on board any criticisms. So I've had a chance to go over those comments and sort of think about them, think about if and how I'm going to let that affect my work and yeah, just kind of move on from it. But yeah, I'm going to start filming the underpainting now and hopefully it won't take too long. So I just finished the two drawings and this is what they look like. Really happy with both of them. But I might do a few more just to show as examples for what you can get if you want to get a commissioned piece now on my website. Also while I was doing this I got a comment on my YouTube channel that just kind of summed up everything that I was saying before and was just really nice and encouraging and just what I needed to hear after my little sort of blip of self-doubt. So it's from Neve Brailsford and it says your style is incredible. You can really tell that you're making art for yourself and not trying to please anyone else. I love that. So quirky and beautiful. Thank you for sharing your talent. And I just think that's such a kind comment. It's really nice to think like that people will reach out and take the time just to be kind. Um, and yeah, I just really appreciate Neve saying that. So if you're watching this, Neve, thank you. Oh, and also, um, I forgot to mention, the sketchbooks that I unboxed yesterday, I emailed Autumn, who sent them to me, just to say I'm going to be showing them in my upcoming vlog, if that's okay, and she said that that was great, and she really kindly has sent me a coupon code for you guys to use if you do decide to order one. Um, it's mini15, I think, you get 15% off any of your orders, so I will have that listed below as well really generous of her um, and as I said before she makes some gorgeous gorgeous stuff she's super talented so please do check her out right so I need to edit these videos now and 
edit another video for Patreon and I remember my to-do list for today being really long so it's going to be another busy one. We're leaving the house today, I promise. I know that this whole entire vlog has been set in different parts of my room and I just wanted to pop on quickly to show you um, this which is the last page that I've done this month in my sketchbook. This was like just a random sort of sketching session that I did that turned into the painting called Swallow that you might have seen a video for up on my channel now. The original painting has actually already sold but I will see if I can insert like a picture of it up on screen now. Uh, I've also done my nails. Um, it's been a really long time since I've done my nails. I used to do them all the time. I used to get comments in my videos all the time because my nails were always done. I love having nicely done nails. I just think it makes my hands look really nice. Uh, but I just kind of got lazy and stopped doing it and I don't think I will be doing them as much. But I was in the mood. I found these really nice nails. Oh, another comment that I get a lot is whether my nails are real or not. General rule of thumb, if they have colour on them then they're probably fake. I very rarely paint my own nails. I just find it more convenient to paint fake nails. The paint doesn't chip you can change the sort of style of your nails um, because my natural nails grow quite long naturally anyway but I do prefer the sort of different options that you get with fake nails. So I've got a nice subtle hollow going on here today, really like this. Um, these are from Primark as well, Primark do the best fake nails. I also got some more Halloweeny ones that I was really tempted to use for today but I'm gonna save those for a little bit later on in the month. And if you're interested in knowing how I do my nails myself, how like I apply fake nails and keep them on as long as possible, leave a comment below and I will film that for next vlog just to show you what I do. So that was like my quick update, that'll probably be the last that you see of my sketchbook for this month. It isn't the last drawing that I've done this month, I've also done my first Inktober drawing today um, which is kind of cheating but I'm out tonight, I'm out tomorrow night and I feel like by Sunday, by the time you're watching this, hopefully if I've got it edited up, I'm definitely just going to be spending all day in bed. It's not going to be a great start to Inktober. So I thought I'd get that first one out of the way and then from Monday I'll start doing them daily from there. Um, so today I'm going to an exhibition, I think, and I've got a party tonight and then another party tomorrow night. It's that time of year, I think, where everything just happens at once. So, so I just wanted to come on here quickly and catch you up on those little things before I go out. vlog thank you so much for watching and well done for sticking all the way to the end um next month will probably be quite interesting just because you'll be able to see how i'm dealing with drawing every single day for inktober um in the meantime you can follow along with my progress with inktober either on instagram or here on my channel i'm hoping to post a video every single day so yeah exciting month lots of content coming up so i'll see you soon for the next one Bye.